Go ahead. What it is, gamers and game mats, we back. Welcome. Thank you for joining us at All Deaf and All Deaf Gaming and the Arcade yeah. Tokens. Yeah. I'm Will Farrow. Theo Thomas, aka Mr. Slick Living. I'm Patrick Cloud. And these are the quarantine times. And so we thought we'd bring y'all something new. We're going to try something new on this Saturday. Hope y'all in y'all PJs had a big bowl of cereal and then finished watching whatever cartoons are on because there's no such thing as Saturday morning cartoons. Mm-hmm. Nope. Um, Watch Great whatever. Taste. <laughs> yep. A new episode of Great Taste. New episode. Prize Part 2 featuring these two gentlemen. Yeah. Best style of fries. I know we I know we did a fry episode before. Shut up. Hey man, style of fries <laughs> is important. And trust me, I know. Style of fries are important and it must be discussed. But today we are talking. Show. Yes, we are talking about a new segment called Play, Download, and Delete. Now, Cleo, you actually brought this to us, so I feel like it's only right that you explain to us what play, download, and delete is. Let's get to it, man. Um, there are tons of games to play out there. But sometimes you don't know how to list them. You don't know which game to jump right into. You don't know which game to maybe just hold off just a little bit. And you pretty much don't know which game you shouldn't touch at all either. We, the Arcade Tokens here at All Dev Gaming, we're going to tell you guys which games you should play, which games you should download and keep in the queue, and which games you should just absolutely delete from your mind. Nice. That's what's going down today with play, download, and delete. Have you guys indulged in the spring sale yet? Hard. So hard. So hard. <laughs> What'd you buy? Man, listen, I bought, uh, what is it, Metal Gear Solid 5. Nice. I bought the Bioshock collection. Woo! I, Where you at? Where you at? I ain't started none of these. And I'm, have, you, have you played them before? I haven't played nothing. And I'm I, almost I, done with the first one. I bought that collection too. And Will, you, I forgot how much I like that game. You will fuck with it because it's like guns on this hand, but fucking magic on this hand and like power okay. ups. It's, so you're close to me. You like it. Bioshock? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I played through all three of them way back in the day when they first yeah. dropped. But That's like on true. second playthrough, I'm, I'm probably going to. Cause infinite was super like crazy different and i played i played that i played a little bit the other day but there are i recommend all three of them please please get on top of that will okay. stream it too will do will do i got the last of us nice um i got the uncharted collection mm-hmm. uh except for uncharted 4 but i think i'm gonna just go ahead and get that too did you uh, play through those i haven't played through anything i spider-man has completely kept me it just it just kept me webbed up yeah i literally just finished it today at 100 percent. i beat nice everything. congratulations let's get Thank some gg's in the chat for will for completing spider-man 100 that's that's cool 100 Man, uh the playstation store has a spring sale going on if you guys haven't heard sony has initiated the stay at home initiative where they're allowing people to download games for free like completely free some games you don't even have to have a PlayStation Plus account for. Really? Uncharted, the Uncharted Collection, the Nathan Drake Collection, you get all those games for free. Also, a game called Journey, which I believe, Pat, you were mentioning. You can have oh, that I game. bought that, yeah. Bought it, yeah. Just a little too early, brother, because now it's for free. Completely free. I recommend that game. You can play through that in like an hour and a half, but it is visually amazing. I bought all three from that. It's literally from an indie company that was started at USC, called right. That Game Company. And they have three games. Journey, which you're just like this thing traveling through the sands to get to this mountain. It was It's Flower, where you're literally like a flower petal. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> and then it's this one called Glow, where you're like a germ. It's really, really dope. Got to look into these games, man. Uh, yeah. The PlayStation Network and the PlayStation Store, they now have a spring sale going on with tons. And I mean tons of games for you guys to jump into. And we're going to get into them and figure out which games you guys should be playing, which games you should be downloading, and which games you should be deleting. Okay, so this is basically like Screw, Mary Kill, right? Yes. Yeah. So play is like, I'm playing this one right now. Download is like, I'm going I'm to get to that later. And then delete is get this off of my PlayStation. I need room. Get it the fuck out of here. It doesn't even yeah. exist. Let's uh, uh, let's go in, let's go into it. You just want to do this every three, like, uh, or just like pull some, like Spider Man, Call of Duty, 
and uh, Kingdom from, Hearts. From this list that we can actually see right now, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. For these 12 or actually 11 games on the on the screen right now. Let's do these 11. Let's do these 11. Let's Let's do these 11. Which game are you uh, playing, downloading, and deleting? All right, let's start off with let's start with Spider Man. If Spider Man, did you play and download or delete? Play, play, obviously all day. All right, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Play. So, I feel like we should do them three at a time, though, because screw Mary Kill, you you see all your options, so you're forced to. Because if you like the game, you'll you'll just say play on all of them. So mm-hmm. I feel like we should do Spider Man, Call of Duty, Kingdom Hearts. Play, uh, play, download, delete. Oh my god! Oh, this is easy. This is easy as hell for me. Easy for me. Play oh. Spider Man, download Call of Duty, delete Kingdom Hearts. To get Kingdom Hearts off of my PlayStation. Get it out of here. No, Rook, get get it out of here. The Kingdom, this isn't just Kingdom Hearts three. This is one, two, three, two point five, two point eight, one point six. Oh, point three. It's the complete King 3.0. <laughs> what you're saying is, I should get a bigger trash can to throw it all in. It's Absolutely. Just That's think cool. about the the amount of space this takes. And it's now, mind $30. you, this is, this is it. I love Kingdom Hearts one, but you're putting this up against Spider Marvel, Spider Man, and Call of Duty. So it's like, it's just first, first and foremost. Can we go back down? Can we I'm go sorry. Right no, there? but that, that's how much it's going to take up 112 gigabytes worth of space for you on your. This, so. look, oh look, no! Look, and, go, and go back down. I got something I really want to point out. Well, on which one? But how how trash of a game do you have to be to give me 13 games for 30 dollars? <laughs> We've gone from 100. Is it thirteen dollars? It ain't thirteen. It's you, damn near it's thirteen. Pat is and hey, Will is it wrong? It's about 13 games that you get with this. He's not wrong. All right. It's pretty close. Well, uh, what's the next three? All right. I'm, this is I, think we're, I can agree with them except for I'm going to instead say I'm going to play Spider-Man. I'm going to download. No, damn it. I have to agree. I guess we're all oh, man. You deleted we Kingdom Hearts. You have a, and you have a Keyblade. Yes, <laughs> Unanimous. Unanimous. We are this playing Spider-Man the and downloading Call of Duty and we're deleting Kingdom Hearts. What's the next one? This is the toughness Ooh. of play, oh. download, delete. Or NBA 2K20. I honestly felt like you guys would also include the price, though, because the price is a big thing. I'm just saying. like yeah, That's very true. That's very true. So, For the price that you're getting something, you got to also put that into in consideration when you're doing this. So I've personally never seen ARK. So can we can we see the uh, the trailer for that? Yeah, Give me with ARK. Yeah, let's see what ARK we got. Survival <laughs> Evolved. This is $15. $15. We're going to keep it's it on me. Uh, copy at all? Holy hell. Oh, oh, I'm in. First person. A first person with a tomahawk? That's like yeah, primal. I'm interested already. But with a sniper. Those are dinosaurs. Look at the look at the art style. It's kind of like old school computer game. Is this yeah. Turok? What is this? This does remind me of a computer game. You're right, Pat. It has very old school computer game. Oh, let's yeah. go. Um, the Galapagos. Oh, uh, this one. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to hit this with the download. This gonna be in the download. We're gonna download for this one. I'm gonna download for this one. I mean, it's only 15 bucks. That's not that bad. Uh, just saying. It's really not like we. This story is probably dope. The gameplay is probably amazing. You know, you know what? what? I'm, okay, I'm, I'm flipping it. I'm gonna play this. Okay. I'm a download 2K because you know that's just the, that's just the hood in me. You always got. I don't play it as much, but I, I like to keep my thumbs dabbled in it. You know, just to keep every time in. Which yeah, one little, you deleting, Will? You can get that <laughs> I Heart Huckabee bullshit Securo out of here. Throw it in the trash. Wrap the trash can up. Dig a hole six feet under. Put it in six feet. <laughs> Yeah. Cause an earthquake, make it slip through the crevices that they crack through the ground of the earthquake, slide all the way through, let it pass the magma and the magnetic plates until it hit the core and disintegrate after four days. Will doesn't That's like- where that game can go. Will doesn't like Sekiro. At all. A one game of the year, Will. 
I'm, even for forty dollars, I'm not getting it yet. I, it can still stay deleted for me as well. I gotta be honest. For forty, it's still not worth it for me, bro. I think we're too hard on Sekiro. I'm I think going... we are too, but I'm not getting it for forty. I haven't I'm played. I'm yet. deleting NBA 2K. All day. I haven't played Sekiro yet, and I for sure am doing a download for that. I gotta know. I gotta see how hard this game really is, because Will has nothing but just actual hate. For this game, I mean, oh God, this, like, this, this is, I love this game. This <laughs> game has low key made me racist to samurais. I don't even know what the racist, racist. samurais are. You're prejudiced. I I personally love this game. I'm just jealous of people who are good enough to go through it. Yeah. I'm like, I'm just, it's it's just like I don't know if you've played like a dark the Dark Souls or the Bloodborne's those games that are just like notoriously super difficult mm-hmm. and they have that mm-hmm. fan base that just like enjoys trying to beat a boss 90 you know 300 times in a row and dying every time i'm just i'm not that type of gamer still nah. I'm not now i'll watch it now i will say this watching right. it is dope I watching will like jesse play and shit yeah for sure i love the game and it looks sure beautiful and i'm sure what a quick a quick run would be for Sekiro. like you have to beat these bosses like crazy so well, here's the thing. I think you can quick run it because it's one of those things where you have access to every part of the game, yeah. but it's just about can you survive there? Like, there's no, you know what I mean? Like, you you basically uh, can get to a boss super easy, but it's just like you, there's no power ups, there's no nothing. It's just like you have to be better here. <laughs> you have to be get better good. before you're here. Yeah. Just get you good. Have to learn, you have to learn your chi very quickly. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to, my list is, I'm actually going to play Sekiro. I'm gonna download Ark, but I am trashing, deleting NBA 2K20. No, thank you. There's I, nothing. There's nothing for me in that game. Nothing at all, bro. Bring back NBA Live, like for the PS2. I'll take that graphics and that, that whole system. I'm good on the 2K. I have taken my consistent L's in Sekiro. I do want to revisit it long, long in the distant, distant future. So I'm gonna download that. I'm playing Ark. I'm I'm low key gonna download Ark and. Uh, <laughs> And I'm I'm deleting NBA 2K. I agree. Yeah. Hey, hey, the next three is gonna be a toughie. I'm not gonna front. No, no it's not. Not, no, not it's for not. y'all. Not for y'all. For me, it, me personally, it's gonna be a tough one. Go ahead. Uh, can we just delete Madden? Can we just say that? <laughs> Get Madden out of here, bro. Yeah, you're right. You actually, you're right. I didn't think I about Madden re- so much. I have a reason I'm deleting Madden though, because um, unfortunately, I'm gonna let y'all know. Uh, almost getting shot betting on video games is a real thing. It's not just, this is not just the one in a million type thing. These are things that does happen in the hood. Yep. And it was, just oh, fell off though. Yeah. This this mad. This is the most. This was the most overhyped Madden that's come out in a long time. Like they were really like, "Yo, we finna change the game of Madden." And it came out, and Madden people was like, "Yo, what the fuck?" What was different? Nothing. I mean, it hasn't been different for since the hit stick. Maybe two things Ooh. was different, and that was it. They were like, yo, I paid all that for this. Still would not buy it for $23. I used to buy this game every single year, and then I was like, fam, this is I'm, I'm, they, this is a lick. This is a lick. This and I don't the, watch football. Uh, this is the retro Jordans of video games. They're just going to keep rolling yep. out the same colorway. That's yep. it. The switch also the overhyped, retro Jordans. Listen, only well, only certain ones I'll jump on the hype train for. But you just brought up the hit stick. Hit Duh. stick. When that hit stick feature first dropped, oh my god, you couldn't wait to use it. And then, was- then when you're on the truck stick going to offense, oh, when you're on offense, oh, it was a dick. That was no, that was a that was a golden age in gaming though. We yeah. I feel like everybody played Madden at that time, even oh, me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> everybody. All right. Um, um, hold on. Right. Death Stranding gonna- game though. Death Stranded, I'm I'm a downloader, man. I'm gonna be honest. Like I heard the hype, I heard what it was. Like I said, I played a little bit of it. It's interesting, but even now, I still can't give it the hot 30 right now, man. It can't it can't get the 30 off of it. Maybe if it becomes a PS, a PlayStation classic, mm. and we hitting it for the hot 1999. Have you heard of anything about it? I haven't heard anybody so, playing it. It was so, it was like, again, another one of these that just was like so much hype. They were just like, oh my God, this is the future of gaming. Only difference is from people saying it was trash, no one said anything. Because I feel like people don't want to disrespect the Metal Gear guy. 
But <laughs> yeah, you, know, you know what also happened too? They gave the nominee for best game of the year, and that really pissed a lot of people off. I was pissed off. The game had just came out, and then two weeks later, here we are at the video game awards. Yeah. Game of the year. That's yeah, right. It might have been a clout thing. It might have been a clout thing because that guy is like the the god over in in, in gaming. I don't know what his name is, Hikushima or something. Hideo Kojima. Kojima. You know his name. Hideo Kojima. Uh, Death, Death, Death Stranding. Can we see gameplay footage? Because I've only seen like uh, a bunch of footage of him like walking around and sort of like the the teasers, but I've never that's, really. Oh, that's gameplay footage. It's you're walking around. You're you're pretty much a futuristic UPS driver. That's yeah. Yeah. But no, I mean you can get like can you get a bike wheel? Can't you roll yeah. the wheel on a motorcycle? Oh my God. But it's only for certain parts. One of the best games I've ever played. Stop this. <laughs> okay, looks good. Oh, yeah. Visually, this is stunning. Nigga, is that a whale? Mm-hmm. Man, that's the shit from Avengers. Listen, man. Hey, is sure. there any, like, uh, footage of him, like... Oh, there, there you go. What's that? Is that a still or video? That's a still. Yeah, it's a still shot. It's a still shot. There's the baby's thing, and he connects it to his suit, and that helps him be able to see. Maybe he's gonna get attacked. He's connected to a baby. Yes, that man is holding a oh, fetus. He's holding a, baby. He he holding a, a fetus the whole time. Yeah, What's yeah, it? it's a whole thing. Called? What's the thing called that we wear? He what has a he? fetus fanny pack. He got the baby born going. He has a baby born. He has a baby born on the whole damn game. He does. It's it's Let me it's see if I can weird, find a but it up. makes sense in the story. There you go. There you go. You want this creepy ass baby you strapped want, to your chest Pat, the whole time? You still want to play? Still want to play, Pat? <laughs> mine is in download. I already said mine. Mine is in download. It looks artsy, so I know it's a long ass game, and I don't know if I'm willing to put. <laughs> yeah, you got to put, put some hours in. I'm so behind oh, on games. Know, it's, like, not, it's not. It's it's not. It's um. I say above average, like it's not like Metal Gear Solid long, but it's like it's not short like Journey. It's probably like above average, like length game time. Oh. I'll, so. I'm gonna download this one. I, I feel like this is something you put on the back burner. Yeah, but I'm interested. Uh, but so what, play, you gonna, what you gonna do about Kakarot? Kakarot getting that play. Look, I, I contemplated spending the forty, but I was like, you know what? It's gonna I don't play. know anybody playing this game. Me either. Yeah, That's the thing. I haven't heard anything about it, it Pat. You've played it already. You know the story. Yeah. You know what it's about. It's just like, yo, if you want to play as Goku in an open world base with the storyline, yeah. you'll buy it. Again, that's why but I say I I'll play it, but I'm not I spending can't fight years. Raditz again. I'm sorry. Again. I can't. Hey, Pat, fight him again, and then you're going to hold him, and then Piccolo's going to shoot the beam. Again. First of all, can and we then the talk- Cybermen? I ain't fighting we- the Cybermen again. <laughs> Can we talk about again. that though? Can we talk about that though? Like, let's say, like, dr- let's say Dragon Balls were not a thing yet. Like, let's say, or he- he's not aware of Dragon Balls and, like, you can come back off of a wish. Is he really going to do that? Like, would, would he still, do y'all think he'd still let him take the shot? Piccolo? Well, Goku would have still been like, I'm going to hold him. Why you hit it? Yeah, it was just an iconic scene. Them niggas couldn't fight. <laughs> they really couldn't. If you go back, a lot of them can't fight. That's no, what I'm If you're keeping it a buck, if you're keeping it a buck, the, the story of Dragon Ball Z has been expanded so much since that time, so yes. much. And yet, Raditz has never came back. Raditz was dope. Seen, we haven't seen Raditz at all, bro. He so would have had dope perfect. Super Saiyan hair. Yeah. So I mean, so much Vegeta got a whole brother that we never heard of for twenty years. He's a whole kid brother. Why the hell? Why the hell do we keep starting there though? Like that was literally like the driest part of Dragon Ball Z. There was like full sagas without Goku, where niggas was just getting beat up, going Goku, where where are you? And like I feel like if they would have just had a game that started in the Boo saga, or like you know what I mean, like started in just the dope ass, you just had to play through the Cell saga and that's it. But it was like. There's so many different ways to do Dragon Ball Z. Look, listen, I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, and, and I'm agreeing. I'm, I don't know if someone said this in the chat, but I'm agreeing with the whole Vegeta is better. Give us a Vegeta game, because here's the thing: Vegeta was on missions as a kid, so we had to watch. So we never got to really learn about what Vegeta did before he grew up. We just know of uh, when he Prince Vegeta game. Hurt. Yeah. 
That'd be hard. So like the Prince of All Saiyans video game? See, we need niggas like that in the in the video game uh, pitch rooms instead of like, why don't we just do Dragon Ball Z again? And, and it's like, why are we creating characters in the world of Dragon Ball Z that never works? <laughs> Bandai Namco, Bandai Namco, if you're listening, we just gave y'all your next big hit. We don't want a game just starring Goku and the rest of the cast. No, no, no. Let's tell it from Vegeta's perspective. Yeah, let's let's get some let's get some origins. Let's get some so a Vegeta origins and, and game. You, and the thing is too, you can put everybody in there as reference. You can have like Vegeta passing by talking with his dad, and they pass by and they see Broly in the chamber as well as uh uh PCS. I always forgot his uh dad's name. Uh, you can see it walking by where you get where he like goes hit where he meets Frieza for the first time. King Cole, you can see when the planet's being destroyed and stuff like that from their for like King Vegeta's perspective. We gotta do a we gotta do a Phantom Fiction. On Phantom that. Fiction. Can you imagine Bardock like passing by young Vegeta like oh yeah we oh, got another oh, Easter egg. Even harder when Vegeta meets Raditz and Nappa when Nappa got hair. <laughs> I don't know if I want to see that, uh, <laughs> but I, I would I would say Kakarot gets the play. I would yeah, Kakarot like definitely gets that before Death Stranding. Yep. Yeah, all right. Same here. All right, y'all ready to go all to right. next three? Rainbow Six Siege, Grand Theft Auto. I haven't Rocket been Rocket. into Rainbow Six since like the early PlayStation. Is it? It's uh, it's nine ninety nine. It's ten bucks. Ten bucks. The, the thing is, yeah, the thing is, this game's kind of free. It's kind of, I think it almost went on the free to play type stuff. So it, it's just a deluxe edition. So I think it just comes with a little extra stuff. I believe I could be wrong though. Uh, it's, I mean, it's just like, eh, it's just like any other Call of Duty type game. I mean, yeah. I mean, what is, what, what is the not, difference between like Rainbow Six? Though? I wish, like, I, I wish Six I had other well, the people that actually played the game to, for, for it to get. I mean, it feels like I Call can, of Duty. I, but I, I can tell you. Um, it's a lot more tactical. I'll, I'll say that. A lot more is. tactical. It's a lot more tactical. It's a lot more. It, it's it's more if you're there. Like before Call of Duty came out, this was more like if you wanted that real feel of like a marine based type of uh training and uh shooting. That's what this was. So it was a lot more tactical with movements, aiming, being able to shoot and stuff like that. Like you had to be like on point. Like this is where like Call of Duty got like sight training from. Being able to really have like your gun from not rattling and stuff like this. Uh, Rainbow Six was one of the first ones to really give detail to weapons. Yeah. Uh, like M16 and the AK-47s and stuff like that. Um, I don't know what all this Gameplay, is, like storyline, which is always really crazy, though. That was the thing. Yeah, this ain't showing much gameplay because, I mean, it, it looks like every other Call of Duty game, I mean. Yeah, yeah. That, that, was, that was it. It was just like, it, it was cool, but I, I will say, Call of I, Duty campaigns were better. I will say one thing, the person that's putting up this wall right now, like, so there's a whole weapon uh, set that you actually have to, like, let's just say you're trying to protect the bomb or protect hostages and other and the other team's trying to get in. So this person right here would actually put up walls and barriers around the uh, the rooms so they couldn't get into the house. So there's a lot more tech, like, that's actually someone's whole skill set is to actually put up a whole bunch of barriers and stuff like that. So, nice. you know, it's a lot more tactical. But, you know. Sniping was ridiculous yeah. on here. Yeah. Hyping was ridiculous because like if you playing, you have to watch your wind resistance. Like you have to like all that stuff you have to pinpoint before you shoot. You got to keep that correct before you pop off. Otherwise, it'll veer off and you'll miss. Yeah. Is there? There's no gameplay footage. Not really. I mean, the script. The thing was just showing. I guess some of the storyline. It it, yeah, it didn't, didn't really show any of the thing. This is mostly just a storyline, I guess. Yeah. Okay. But it's very, it, it, it's very similar to Call of Duty. That's why I put the, this the gameplay up. wise. Yeah, it's pretty. You know. Yeah. So based off of whatever the third choice is, this right now, at least for me, is in download. This ain't hit and play for me. Yeah. I mean, the other one's GTA Nothing. Five. GTA Five, which is for fifteen for bucks. Fifteen bucks. I mean, what I is don't... that? Premium online edition? Yeah. Let's yeah. let's see what it comes with for fifteen. Let's you get look. like uh, money when you buy this one. Yeah. Let's see. So just uh, free access to the ever evolving Grand Theft Auto Online upgrades. The Doomsday Heist. So I mean, they, I don't. Pretty much online dropped a lot of stuff. They they literally uh, yeah. just, just said f the storyline and just went online and start making dummy money off off this game. Yeah. Yeah. So they it's pretty much just online stuff that comes with the, for the fourteen. Okay. How big is it? Pause. Forty four. Forty four gigs. Forty four gigs. Yes, sir. Okay. 
Yeah. All right, what's this going up against? I don't think we saw the third option. No, we gotta go to the next page for the third option. Oh, let me see if I can, yeah. I'll make sure to do it next time we do this. Oh, Crash Bandicoot. Oh, okay. For 20. For 20. Oh! Rainbow Six. Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto and the Crash Bandicoot trilogy. All right, guys, I'm gonna spice it. I'm gonna spice this game up. <laughs> What's up? Kill is kind of like one gotta go in 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 the sense that it's like it never existed. Like it's not okay. just deleted off of your game. It's like everything that came with it. So basically, if we were to go back, you would have to decide if you would delete Kingdom Hearts from existence, which would probably change your answer. So, well, actually, what would be your answer? Because I'm, I'm still, I'm the same way. I would still do play. I'm, I would, I would I'm still do the same. I'm still consistent with my. Oh no, hey, no, hey, that's the case. Call it's Call of Duty. Was Call of Duty in those three? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Call of Duty can go for me. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't play it enough. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Delete all Call of Duties from existence. Is it, is this game blast for me now? Because no way. <laughs> Bye, bye. I'll, okay. take, I'll take Kingdom Hearts. I will take Kingdom Hearts over of Call of Duty. I'm sorry, I can Woo. play. I can play Kingdom Hearts a lot more than I can play Call of Duty. I'm sorry. I, okay. I don't, look, I'm I not a that. high fan of either ones, but again, you you, you damn near finna be sitting in there with Sekiro. Like, <laughs> I, I damn near want to throw away the person that created them with the game. Just you Gee. going there too. So are we saying, okay, because I, I feel like if we were to do play, download, delete the way we ha we've been doing it, I would obviously delete Crash because I've just beaten all three of those. But right. it's very different if it's wiping out. So it's basically Grand Theft Auto V. Is that wiping out Grand Theft Auto V or is that wiping out just online stuff? That's wiping out Grand Theft Auto completely. But why? Because that was just the online edition. But Kingdom Hearts... Yeah, all of them. No, 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 no. That was all everything. One edition. That was the game. No, no, that's that's the game and the online feature. So basically, you have it, it'll have the current map. Okay. So, so Grand Theft Auto, Crash, and what was the first one? But I, uh, uh, Rainbow Six. But I guess this would be two oh. different type of segments because we were also going off the of price. So I guess moving forward, let's do it like this: deleting is the whole franchise from now. Franchise. I like that. That's a that's come on. That makes you think. Like yo, I won't have it no more. Right. No yeah. memories of it. Ooh. Well, I I would delete all of Rainbow Six. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Rainbow Six can go. Um, I'm gonna download Crash. No, yeah, I'm gonna download Crash and play GTA. Grand Theft Auto just yep. because I haven't yeah. played much most like, online stuff. Yep. Yeah. I'm the same way I was uh in, in, in you know real like purchase as well. I was really thinking about buying it today. Um, I'm just a little skeptical though because I've built so much on the Xbox profile that I just don't feel like starting over. Now if it can transfer over, um, I might sell this Xbox. <laughs> there you go. You sell it and get your fifteen dollars back, Will. Right. <laughs> Pat, you're being too modest. You know they're gonna worry, Come on, Pat. You're being too modest. All right, this game is about to get pretty pretty crazy on this these next few games. Um especially the next line. But for now we got Monster Hunter, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Re Recon. Uh I can't it's kind of I don't know. Ghost Recon. Oh sorry. Sorry, uh Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon uh breakpoint. Great point. And Spyro, wow. the Reignited Trilogy. Um, I'm going to be honest. Spyro's dope. I only like the first game, though. I didn't like Ripto, Ripto's Revenge. I like Year of the Dragon. I think that was the last one. Let me check. Hey, look, this one easy. That one was straight. This one is easy for me. Yeah, Year of the Dragon was the third one. I'm I never got into Tom Clancy, though. Yeah, me either. I will... I will uh, play Tom Clancy. I will download Monsters. You can delete Spyro. Spyro, you can get out of here. You never like Spyro? Spyro? No, I like Spyro 1, but it's like, out of like, if we're playing like this, delete and everything's gone forever. Monster Hunter, I don't know what it is, so I'd like to try it. Tom Clancy, like, you, you kind of know what it is anyway, so it's just like, okay. But um, everything else, like Spyro, like out of the first one, you play it once and it's like, dang, I deleted all of like Tom Clancy for this one game. Well, you like the Tom Clancy games? 
I mean, not really, but outside of that inspiring. You're going out of your way to delete Spyro from everybody's memories. <laughs> no, I'm going out of my way to because other people play Tom Clancy, and Tom Clancy has more than one hit. Spyro, mm-hmm. for me, only got one hit. Tom, oh, crazy man. can go. I listen. There's only one franchise that's really been able to lock in, and that's Call of Duty. They're that's the one true. they've cornered. This all all of these are second to none. So yeah, I'll, all of these are second to Call of Duty. That so is Tom true. Clancy deleted. Uh, Monster Hunter, you can get downloaded. And hey, man, Spyro. Spyro helps sell the PlayStation, guys. Come on. Man. That's what I'm saying. We 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 Come we disrespecting Spyro's name right now. That is a top Monster selling PlayStation. The game there. Again, but again, you just in the in the in the realm of deleting a whole franchise. Like you said, one the first one is playable. Tom Clancy has had probably over eight games. Monster, I don't even know what Monster is, but it looks like it could be cool. I'm Let's just, check it out. Let's check it out. Yeah, All right. I'm just saying in our choices. This is, this it's, is the, it's, the, it's the most. It's the least expensive. I want to say cheapest. It's the most I, affordable. I actually, I actually already bought this game. I just bought this like yesterday. Just because I've heard, guys, we went to E3 this year. The company who makes Monster Hunter doesn't waste any money. They, is it Capcom? It's Capcom. You guys remember the layout of what the Monster Hunter side looked like at E3? I think it was so. huge. It's a big ass ice dragon. You could hold the sword underneath it. So, like, yo, they put their money into their product. Not all of this went to E3, but okay. <laughs> you said what? Huh? You said you didn't go to E3? I was just, you know, not all of us got to get to go to E3. This is hard. Want to go? For, four, hey, for fifteen bucks, bro, it's kind of hard to beat. And you want to get you want to get rid of this outside of Spyro? Look, Spyro did its thing. Spyro is cool with this sacrifice. Yeah, Spyro was in this game somewhere. He just, say, he just grew up. Guy is probably be killing Spyro. Yeah, my nigga, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be sad as hell. He's like, "Well, hi, if sir." <laughs> oh, you clap. <laughs> about the I'm in. This yeah, is crazy. I'm this thing is really hunting monsters. Facts. But he gives no. Why wasn't this oh, like? We gotta talk to Ti. We gotta talk to Ti because Ti is in the Monster Hunter movie that's based off of this video game. What? Yes. Ti, yes. oh, Megan Good, Mila Jovic, and one more. Is it out? No, but they were on set shooting it before this crazy stuff popped off. Who's swinging this blade in this movie? Not Cloud. Just remind me of Cloud with this big ass Buster blade he got going. Yeah, right. Oh, they fighting each other now. And he's oh. trying to get in. This ain't no triple threat match. Right? Let him do that. <laughs> One of them's got to lose. <laughs> so, yeah, it's man. It's Monster Hunter World. Crazy. For 14 bucks. Yeah. For 14, yeah, man, I, 15 I stand bucks, by man. what I'm saying, man. I'm standing by it, man. Monster Hunter, give it a chance to get somewhere for me in the play. Download the Clancy Spyro, man. I love you, but, you know, it's time to retire. Let's, uh, let's, let's check out Tom Clancy. Let's give him a shot. We that's, are the that's who's carrying the blade in the movie. Oh, that's I can't see that image. Who is that? Mila that's the guy with the belt with the blade. That's Mila the Jones girl. That's the girl. Blade. That's uh-huh. the girl from Resident Evil. The girl from uh, the Fifth Element. Man, they should have had Ti killing the monsters. Right. Ti and Megan Good are in military fits. Hey, this is the Punisher. That's the actor who plays the Punisher. Yep. And in Walking Dead. And in Walking yeah. Dead. He's a prick in Walking Dead, though. He's tight and walking I mean, dead. Like he's him. a prick and punisher too. It's not like he switched up. Not much right. gameplay on that one. Let me keep keep going forward on this one. That's, it honestly reminds me of some black ops, you know, advanced warfare type of stuff. And as and as I said, yo, it, all of these are second in comparisons to Call of Duty. Like not trying to like. I mean, popularity stuff. wise, I couldn't I couldn't talk about the gameplay. I couldn't I couldn't get you know real into the gameplay of, of both it's, of them. It, it, yeah, it's okay. But if we, like, in this thing of play, delete, and download, like, yeah. I wouldn't give all of this up yeah. for one game of Spyro. Man, listen, the people in the chat are saying this game is beyond trash. It's broken in trash. They said okay. they don't rock with it, bro. They said it's a bad game. Yeah, look mean, at the price. 60 so, bucks it used to be. So, to, see, the thing is, though, it looks because, like everything else. This, no, well, this game, of course, came out in 2019, right? And then we just looked at, uh, uh, what was it? Was it Ghost Recon? Rainbow Six. Rainbow Six. Rainbow Six, right? Yeah, yeah. Ra- Rainbow Six. Rainbow Six came out a long time ago, and they're still pushing that game over this one. Damn, the disrespect. Yeah, exactly. So this one kind of got pushed to the back burner regardless when it comes to 
Tom Clancy games. I get it. I yeah. again, I'm not again, I'm not not trying to represent for it as it need to be a great game, nothing. I'm just saying in the three choices we got, that is my pick. Okay. I'm deleting Tom Clancy. I just feel like I can get that anywhere else. I, I, I could, I, I, you can get that anywhere else. I'm definitely playing Monster Hunter and Spyro got to get the download. You got to keep Spyro around. Legacy. Wow, you get, you get a le- you get legacy love. That's what that is. That's legacy. Yeah. I didn't like the second one, but I also did, wasn't a huge fan of Crash 3. So they all get one, one little flub. Yeah. All right. I give it. All right. This next three, though. No, the, the next couple groups is kind of crazy. We might, Last we, all, of us, we might only Mortal have like one more in us, by the way. We, get, we only might have only have one more. But keep going. Last of Us, Borderlands 3, and Red Dead Redemption. That's a tough one. Let me go first. Let me go first. All go right. Ahead. I'm deleting Borderlands 3. Borderlands, 3. Borderlands 3 can go. Damn. I was never a fan. Can you Damn. play a little bit of Borderlands? I have. Can you I play have. like a, some game play? But uh, I I played a, I played Borderlands uh the first one damn near to the end, uh since they started dropping a lot of the handsome collections and the pre sequel and then two and they kept re releasing them over and over again I kind of fell off but the first one I really really enjoyed. It's, it's like new... Call of Duty but Fallout right? No, yeah well no. Ugh, that honestly I couldn't even put the like it's it's a completely it's a RPG first person shooter. Do we see it? Yeah. It's something about the text. I mean, the, the the texture style that they use for the the art and the characters. I just I can't get with it. Yeah, it's a lot, oh, right. a lot of shell shading stuff. It's yeah, it's like shell shading. I think it's what they call it. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's over. Never really it's over the top. Job. It is absolutely over the top. That is what they go for. They go for over the top. So. Oh damn. You know. Yeah, I think I'm I'm with you. I'm deleting this. I don't know. Don't People know. love this game though. The Borderlands, the Borderlands Three activation was insane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They rolled it out, man. They went all in. I mean, for thirty bucks, I still couldn't do it, honestly. Nah, I'm good. Yeah. All right, let's, so go. let's go back to our list. All right. Uh, Borderlands Three is a cold delete, and that means Borderlands Two, Borderlands One, wipe it from existence. It's like it never happened. Yeah. Red Dead Redemption Two, though. See, this is where I'm gonna switch the game up just a little bit. I'm supposed to download it. That was supposed to be where I would put it on my list. Yeah. I don't want that shit. You I, what? I don't want that shit. What? Are they leave this too? I don't. I, I don't want it. I don't want. I don't want to download that either. I don't need it. It's too big. It's big. It's annoying. You can't really get anywhere in the game without a horse, and you don't get a horse until like four or five hours into the game. It's oh, it's, yeah. it's Grand Theft Auto for cowboys. It's worse, but go ahead. That's hard. That's hard to me. But yeah, I get what he's saying. Yo, yeah, like the premise of it, like when you first saw it, it's like, yo, I didn't I didn't want to be a full frontier. Like, is there a skip to get to the next part of the story? So like you said, without a horse, you're like literally like literally think of like it really reminds you of like, yo, this is how long it took them to get places. Like you can <laughs> you can see why people like the whole I'm gonna go out and get some cigarettes and never come back was so easy because if you just walked 11 miles, you were never seen again. You go the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you never found again. That's all it took. It's like if you, where you wanted to go was there and I go there on accident, you will never see me again. <laughs> no, no, no compass, nothing can save you. You're out there just in the open world and you can get off. The Last of Us is for sure a play right now. If you've not played the video game The Last of Us, man, you are sleeping. Please go play that game. Yeah, that the game. Uh, Last of Us 2 has been officially delayed. It was right around the corner. Damn. And this quarantine, social distancing thing happened. And now it's not going to be released until September, they say? Yeah. Oh. All right, I'll, I'll give mine. Um... Like you said, I'm going to definitely play. Play this last of us. Uh, yeah. I ain't even played it yet because, again, a lot of these I got to pay attention to. So I don't want to be playing them and working at the same time. So And I want to stream it for people to see. Yeah. Um, I don't feel the same way about Red Dead Redemption. Although, I guess that is a hassle. Again, like you said, it's GTA for Cowboys. I love it, man. Going Nothing better than going into a saloon and being going, 
one whore, please. And you go upstairs, smash raw, come down, shoot somebody for drinking your whiskey. And then you go back to your mission, man. Like, I can't beat that. But I'm going to definitely have it in my downloads. It's not immediate. Red me. Dead has the edge because you want to buy horse. <laughs> I mean, listen, wouldn't any game have the edge if you could buy horse? That's why GTA got big. I mean, I was a little kid, though, and I was like, yeah, sex. I don't know if I would really be sitting there now like, yeah, fuck this hooker. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's what I was going to be doing. I don't I don't the, body body the, the body builds of the women that they use for the Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Hilarious. Oh, my God. Hilarious. <laughs> that was terrible. Still in I mean, 20 years. I mean, they're pretty work. much like floozies. Like, they are the uh, epitome of what a floozy looks like. Yes. And <laughs> Borderlands 3, I'm not going to talk shit about Borderlands 3. It's just, as y'all said, it's it's a lot going on. I don't like that drawing style already. It's just, it's just a lot. It's so a lot. I'm just like, it's, a lot. it's too much for me. I'm just like, yo, I'm I'm good on all of that. But I've heard nothing but great things about it. But for me, I'm like, yo, if it, if it was deleted, never heard from again, I wouldn't miss it. So, yeah. Cool. I feel like Borderlands is an easy delete, but... I played through Last of Us. It's a masterpiece of a game, but I, I have other games to play. I would download that. I, w- I would play Red Dead. The only reason I didn't have it or, or buy it was because of how big it was, and people said they had to delete everything off of their PlayStation and just play that, and I can't do it. So well, I definitely they, they've compressed it now. So it's it's compressed now. The size, oh, really? is, yeah, it's not as massive as it was by a lot. Uh, I don't know by a lot. Because I know, like, when they at first came out, they were still rendering all the maps and stuff like that. That's why online play hadn't came out and everything like that. So, basically, when the game dropped, it wasn't finished. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Uh, <laughs> but uh, the game is smaller now. So, I guess I guess it, it could be. It's still not a 40 for me. I'm not dropping the 40 on it. No, I'm not dropping the 40 on it. I would definitely play Red Dead. Because it always looked fun. It seemed like the people were having fun online, you know, just, like, tying people up. That's what I would do. I would tie niggas up and leave them in random places. So, quick, <laughs> for those in the chat, in question to, I guess, Will, who's played the game. Wasn't there, like, a zombie thing for Red Dead Redemption that really made, like, really pushed it to go viral and through the roof? Undead Nightmare is what that was called, yes. Right. What Was that a DLC? Yes, that was, like, a whole yeah. complete DLC story. Like, it was actually damn near a whole new other game. Like, they, they really, it. yeah, they really just made a whole other game for it. Because, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I don't want to give any spoilers out if, if anyone who hasn't played the first Red Dead Redemption. But let's just say my man doesn't make it out. That being said, that that uh, undead nightmare starts with him still being alive, and then yeah, pretty much zombies start taking over. It's it's a whole new game. It's, it was That's crazy because when that came out, this was around the time where like everyone had really jumped on the Walking Dead train, so it, you could tell it was just zombie marketing everywhere. Right, and it helped push that damn game through the roof online. I couldn't look on Twitter without seeing people talk about right. Red Dead Redemption, but only because of the zombie aspect. Well, no, that's because yeah, and that's because the online was trash. Like all that hype about the online, and then when it came on, it's supposed to be like GTA Online for Red Dead Redemption, and it just never happened. But that's that's a whole other thing, and we're going to get in that another time because um, I know we got to get into our next form of programming. Um, so we're going to have to go ahead and um, wrap this up right now. So this has been play, download, delete. Uh, let us know in the comments out of the selections y'all would have. Which ones would y'all play, download, and delete? Did you agree with us? Did you disagree with us? If you didn't like what we said, comment what you didn't like about it. Comment in what you love about it. So um, as always, we're going to keep doing this. Um, this and many more uh, with something that we got coming for y'all soon with all Dev Gaming. So you just got to stay tuned. So, uh, But as always, I've been with Pharaoh. Clear up time to take care, Mr. Sigliven. I'm Patrick Cloud. Put in the comments, give us suggestions. I want to know what y'all buying in this sale because I'm about to go through PlayStation Network. I'm about to go down a very dark, like, black hole. And they said they keep up on 600 games on sale. Yeah. Up to almost 600 games are for sale on the PlayStation Network right now. I'm My like- Days Gone and Skyrim, they're both less than $20. Get yeah. it. Days gone. Uh, today, 17th year anniversary when Hole's released. I'm doing something special on Twitch. Hey. 17 years. Get ready. That's a long ass time. 17 years, bro. That's syndication. <laughs>
That's what's up. Yeah. And roast Me is going to be live at five o'clock. That is in one hour. We're going to be doing Roast This with the fellas. So uh, lock into all deaf, man. Y'all, y'all, we, we here for you. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Love you. All right. All right, Faith. <laughs>